one of the myths, there are quite a few, one of the myths is that I saw the teaching council as more of an organ of government. Don't think that you have to be in a leadership role to do something like this. I think you just have to have a heart, a heart for your, for your people and for your um, profession. I think it's important as teachers that we're aware that we have a professional body and that's what it means to belong to a profession. And it, while it works with um, the government sector is not of the government sector and is a completely independent body run by teachers, funded by teachers, at four teachers. So first and foremost, be a great classroom teacher and bring that lens down to the governing council. So when thinking about some of the practical um, questions you may have about, you know, sort of um, how do I get time off and how often do I go, you know, the fact that teaching council's in Wellington. Your flights are paid for, if there's accommodation required, that's paid for. Amazingly, actually, you don't even have to book a flight or organise it, it's all done for you. So really what I'm saying is you're not ever out of pocket. You have a part to play on shaping the bigger picture, the strategic vision for the organisation and I think for me the bit that stands out is really raising um, that mana for teachers and raising the profession itself. A role has been established here at the council for the principal advisor Tangata Olomuana um, who fills, holds that space here at the council now. Um, this is a new role that's been established um, specifically to hold Pacific voice, Pacific issues. So I see all those things as very um, very real, tangible outcomes. It still to me is the body that we have to support, that we have to get behind. This is a place where you can actually do some gutsy work to help the future of New Zealand's children and drive the strategic plan that we've got in place. When we first arrived as new board members, we had a porphyry and a lovely induction day. You really are scaffolded into the role quite gradually um, and we had some online um, work we could do as well to understand more the governance role. And so we get a, a little reading pack um, that comes, we read our board papers usually a week before um, and you just spend a bit of you know time to do that. It probably is about two days a month maybe a day of or half a day of prep and then a day of the meeting. The cost factor is your time, your energy, your araha for doing the job. I really hope you'll think about standing as one of the positions for the upcoming Teaching Council Board nominations. It would be great to have some ECE strong representatives who are passionate in our area. And if you do stand, good luck, I'll be voting for you. I would really, really strongly encourage anybody with a disability to be present because actually that means that the council has the diversity that reflects the population. Uh, why should you do it? I think for me, um, I come away from a meeting generally feeling quite inspired and invigorated again. I think if there was ever a time to do something for our community, for our Pacific teachers, our teaching profession, it's now. You've got the ability to make a difference to a whole system, to a whole profession. And if you get that, by God, you're lucky. We know that there are many uh, jurisdictions overseas where teachers are held by society in much higher uh, regard than people generally do in New Zealand. Well, it's up to us, to teach us to do something about that because nobody else will. I'm like, you just need to switch it off so I can breathe. <laughs> Are we all recording? Yeah, it's still going. It is what it is. For him? Or the no, for me. Oh, okay. You know that thing, I do what you can look after your kids first. <laughs> can I just start from really quiet? Yeah. Yeah. Really yeah. It's a little bit how you got involved in education. Oh, yes, a little bit about me, yep. sorry. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Try that again. Hold on. Ah. I, how do I? I love that answer. It's really good.
I'll know how good they are and how much is in the video. <laughs>